Hello guys, and uh, welcome back to the Twist Network. So today, I've got another Cinema 4D tutorial for you guys. Um, today I'll be teaching you how to create a spinning logo like you see in all of our videos, or most of them, if that's if you don't forget to put the logo in. Um, as you see in this video, there'll be a, a logo in the top right hand corner, spinning, uh, spinning away, uh, normally the opacity turned down, so it's a little bit flush with the uh, video. Uh, but it's just like a little watermark for the video, and also it adds quality and it's professional so it's something that I would recommend every small budding channel or large channel to have so today I'm going to teach you um, the first thing you're going to want to do is create an, if you have your logo in uh, in Photoshop you need to create an AI map of that logo uh, so extrude to an AI map Adobe Illustrator map so if you don't know how to do that at all and there'll be a link in the description to the tutorial where I teach you how to do that. So quickly go check that tutorial out, stuck a three minute tutorial, and then come back here to this video and continue watching. Okay, so now you're back, hopefully, if you didn't know. Um we're going to just quickly get our get our map like so. I'll just paste it in here. It's not working. Um, To take these parts. File, close. No. No. Paste. Here we go. Awesome. Okay, so once you have your AI map imported, you just want to go to your output and set the height to um, uh, 1 to 80 by 720 pixels and set the frame range to all frames. The save to Quick time movie, alpha channel straight alpha. The anti aliasing should be set to best with a animation of 2x2x4x4. Two by two by four by four. And that's all for now. Um, so when you're past, you want to line these up like so. Line this up with the floor. Relatively straight. Oh, hate on. Try about that. Um, so just lining this up, preferably like so. So now I'm just going to go to extrude nerves and drag these two into the extrude nerves. And you're probably going to have to set the extrude nerves to hierarchical. And then we're going to set the depth to around about 100. Um, for this, for this uh, animation, I want the end to spin. Um, separately from the T, so it's just the end spinning on its own. That's what we're going to achieve. I'm going to create some reflective materials here. Uh, again, I've got a tutorial on how to do this, so I'm not going to go in detail over how you make these because I have separate tutorials and I want to keep this one relatively short uh, and sweet, I guess. Uh, so you can go check them out. There'll be a link in the description how to create materials. But I'm sure uh, you guys really know. This is more of a intermediate tutorial rather than a beginner's tutorial um, because I, I cannot afford to make this a long tutorial. Uh, so let's just put that on there. Control C, Control V this material, and we'll set the color to uh, a white. Drag this on here, and we'll set this to C1. Oops. We'll set, we'll set the blue to selection one, like so. Where's this part from? Awesome. Look, okay, it drops some lights in here. Let's put a camera into it. I want a camera from the side. No, not a camera. A light. A light above. Not sure a light beneath. Like so. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. <coughs> uh, so now we have that done. We're going to start the, the animation on the end. So selecting my path 2, which is my end. And um, I'm going to go to 0 frames. I'm actually going to set the frame here to 150. And then extend this out. Uh, we're going to start at 0 frames. And then we're going to hit the keyframe button. We're going to go along to 50 frames. And we're going to ret rotate the lettering um, 180 degrees. Doesn't matter which way you rotate it 180 degrees. Uh, so that will do there. And then we'll hit the keyframe button. So that saves it. Like so. And now we'll go up to zero. Hit the keyframe button again. And we'll go up to 100 degrees this time. 100 degrees. 100 frames, sorry. My bad. And then we're going to rotate it the rest of the 180 degrees. Back to its starting position. Like that. And then we're going to hit the keyframe. And then we go back to zero degrees. Uh, zero frames, sorry about this. Keep saying degrees for reason. On the extrude nerves, I'm just going to change this to 60, uh, not 6000, 60, because it was catching here at the side, but we'll see this now. If we hit the play button down here, you can see the logo spinning. Uh, like so. I, I actually want to bring this T forward because for some reason it seems to be too far back. Um, Pause that, bring this T forward, and move it along a little bit. To play this again, I can see that I can bring this up by about 10 or 5. Uh, why is this one sitting? I think 65, I don't know that. So I'm here I'm just trying to get the right depth um, so it doesn't overlap. I think 60 is my maximum, annoyingly. Yeah, 60 is my maximum uh, that I can allow without it catching here. Um, so that's now our animation completed. I have an overlap of 50 frames at the end, so the image is not moving for 50 frames. Um, I've been told that it gets really frustrating and annoying to the eye if it keeps continuously spinning. Uh, so now we're just going to hit our, go back to our running settings and make sure everything's uh, set. Um, make sure your output is set, which I didn't have set. So I'm just going to have this set as spinning, uh, spinning logo uh, tutorial. Like that. And then we're just going to hit the middle render button. I will put a, uh, a quick clip on screen now of what the finished product looks like.